stocks are moving higher this morning as yields are essentially unchanged when you kind of even it out across the curve. As I speak to you right now, the NASDAQ is just above the flat line, but the S&P up about a third of a percent, the Dow up about a half of a percent, and the Russell up just short of 1%. I mentioned yields, the two year is up one basis point, the 30 year is up two, but the belly of the curve, the five year, the 10 year, are basically a little lower. The five years down two basis points, the 10 year is down one basis point. PPI in the US was very strong, as was the headline retail sales, but last month's retail sales figure was revised lower. All of this could be a bit concerning for the Fed after that slight beat in CPI that we got yesterday. Jobless claims though, lower than expected, but last week was revised higher. Same thing for the continuing claims figure picture, so that's kind of a mixed picture overall. The ECB raised rates by 25 basis points. The key short-term interest rate in the European Union is now at a record high 4%. Yields are lower in the EU as Lagarde wouldn't commit to a pause, but implied that they had reached their goal in terms of the level of rates. The dollar is much higher in the aggregate today, and the euro is down 6 tenths of 1% against the dollar. WTI crude oil hit $90 this morning, highest level since July 27. And it looks like at least this at this point that we'll get the highest close since July 26. That's likely unless we get a big reversal and a negative switch on WTI. Right now we've got gold uh, basically down a half a percent, silver down two and a quarter percent, and copper is barely above the flat line. Now looking ahead tonight at midnight is that UAW strike deadline. If they don't reach a deal today, tomorrow we will have a United Auto Workers Union strike on our hands. The economy is gonna have to deal with that. Earnings today after the close, Adobe and home building giant Lennar Corporation. Nothing of note tomorrow, but we do get a fresh speech by ECB President Christine Lagarde. That'll be interesting to watch. In terms of data tonight, we get Chinese industrial production, their unemployment rate, and their retail sales. Tomorrow morning early, we get the Japanese tertiary index. Tomorrow later in the morning, U.S. industrial production and the preliminary September Michigan sentiment data, as well as the inflation expectations out of that same university.